What is up, everybody? Welcome to Batman Theory, where we take a deep dive into comic books, movies, cartoons, and everything in between that has to do with the Dark Knight. So, guys, before we get into it, uh, I'd like to, you know, we are a brand new channel. Uh, we plan on giving you guys uh, content almost every day, if not every single day. Um, so please, you know, sm smash the like button, uh, hit subscribe for us. We really appreciate it. Uh, and at the end of, and uh, leave a comment if you guys want to enter our contest. We are doing a giveaway. Uh, as soon as we hit to a thousand, uh, thousand subscribers, we are giving away a really cool personalized Batman neon light that is made from, uh, made from Shop 19 Creations. And you can customize your name on there, or you can leave a blank. You know, we're going to leave it up to the winner. Uh, like I said, the first, as soon as we get to a thousand subscribers, we're going to be giving that away. So all you have to do is uh, comment down in the comment section on any of our videos. Uh, you know, let us know that you have subscribed, you like the content. Let us know what else you want to hear about. Uh, all you have to do is comment, and we'll uh, and automatically enter you guys into the contest. In today's episode of Batman Theory, I want to talk about. The possibility of the villain in the new upcoming Batman film, starring Robert Pattinson, not being the Riddler like everyone thinks. Now bear with me a moment here, I'm going to get to the meat and potatoes of what I want to say. And I think it actually would be an interesting theory. Um, I don't know if it holds any weight, but I am going to say one thing. I truly would be shocked if the Riddler turns out to be the Riddler. What I mean by that is... Um, the the guy duct taping the mayor in the beginning of the trailer, uh, <clears throat> the one sending out the cards to Batman. I would be surprised if that really is the Riddler or Edward Nigma, as most incarnations have him. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I don't honestly see that happening, and one of the reasons why is it seems too obvious. You let everyone know you're villain, even though he's hidden behind a mask of some sort. Almost looks like he's got a plastic bag over his head. <clears throat> so what am I getting at here? Well, there's a couple options that have gone through my mind. Uh, the first one being Hush. And for those who don't know Hush, I'm going to make a video in the next few days about that as well as him being a possibility. But I also have two really strong contenders that I want to talk about first. The first one being, now this is a really interesting one because I don't know how strong of a contender it is. However, I think there is, it would be a really cool idea if they actually do this. Uh, the first one is Josiah Wormwood. So, a lot of you might be scratching your heads, but Josiah Wormwood was in the episode, one of my absolute favorite episodes of Batman the Animated Series in the early 90s. He plays a sadistic torture um, kidnapper who, you know, basically extorts information or money out of his victims. And he actually has a mission where he's supposed to get Batman's cape and cowl. He succeeds in doing so. Now, it's an entire setup on Batman's part from pretty much the beginning of the episode. However, it's a great episode. And Josiah Wormwood is not to be trifled with. He actually does beat Batman, even though the episode has you believing that, you know, it wasn't um, on purpose or anything. Batman game is Cape and Cowl. And maybe he did um, because he actually lost, because he knew he was going to win in the end. But the thing is, Josiah Wormwood designs death traps to essentially get his victims to talk or get his victims to do what he wants them to do. Now, what do I say him? Well, because in the episode, he actually uses, and to my knowledge, Josiah Wormwood is actually only ever mentioned and ever seen in that one episode of Batman the Animated Series. So this would be completely out of left field, but it would be really cool if they took elements of Josiah Wormwood and put him into the Riddler. They torture, um, the, you know, he does specific things and he gets people to go to certain rooms and his traps set up specifically for them. But one of the other things that intrigues me about Josiah Wormwood is his messages he sends to Batman to come and find him or to his other, you know, to his other victims. He sends these cryptic messages so they have to decipher them to even figure out where they're supposed to go. And to me this is 100% Riddler-esque. It looks just like the kind of thing you'd see in the trailer for the Batman is these letters from we presume the Riddler to Batman and they're coded and they have these, you know, hidden meanings. This is exactly the same thing Josiah Wormwood would do as well. So I think it'd be really cool. I'm not saying that the Riddler is going to become Josiah Wormwood, but wouldn't it be cool if he got some of his, you know, more sadistic tendencies? Now, I'm not saying, you know, I want like a really, really dark movie here, but I think the Batman's going to be a dark movie, which I'm excited for personally. And the Riddler generally is definitely not really one of the darker Batman villains for the most part. I say that, you know, take that with a grain of salt. There are definitely a... Uh, 
uh, you know, comic book issues or other media where he is definitely predict- depicted as definitely a little bit more of a lunatic. Um, it would be just really interesting. I think. I, I, I don't know. Let me guys, let me know, guys, what you think. I think it would be incredibly interesting to find out if Josiah Wormwood was the villain, or at least his his mannerisms were taken in as part of the character. Uh, because obviously you want a big character like the Riddler because he's very popular in the rogues gallery of Batman where Josiah Wormwood was a one-show person. But watching the episode the other day, I thought, wow, this would be a really intriguing addition to add to the Riddler character for the Batman movie. So that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I, I don't know. I think it's kind of an interesting thought. could be a really cool idea. Uh, if they brought this character's, you know, some of his characteristics from the animated series into the movie. So we'll see. We won't know until next March. You know, we'll see. And like I said, guys, I got a couple new videos coming up of some other possibilities for this. I got some other ones coming up for Batcave coming up soon. So, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay safe and have a great day.